Hi crafters, Amy here with Amy's Wares and today I'm going to make for you a sea themed birthday card. So let's jump right in. Now I have three brand new stencils from the June release set of Colorful Life Designs and there's also new card bling. There's 12 new gorgeous colors. So be sure to check out the full June release. I'll link everything below and I do have a coupon AmyFan10. Now here's a photo of the finished card to show you the direction that we're headed. I actually ended up using four stencils from the shop. This first one is an older one. It's called Marvelous Masks deckled rectangle stencil and I'm using that to basically create a frame and it's going to have this cool deckled edge. Now there's a whole collection of these marvelous mask stencils in the shop guys and I'm telling you they are amazing. So this deckled rectangle is one of my favorites um, but there's all the kind of basic shapes and then there's a bunch of really fun unique ones too and how they work is you get four different stencils with the inner and outer portion. So you can do all sorts of different masking techniques and the versatility of these is, is top notch. So these are definitely a good stencil to have in your crafty stash. So basically I did some very light ink blending just within that deckled edge rectangle because I really wanted to get that definition on the edges of that stencil. Next up, I put the Swirling Droplet Stencil, which is one of the new ones, and I'm doing some a uh, little bit darker, but still relatively light ink blending and kind of fading it off to nothing in the center. So I'm gonna have this perfect deckled rectangle, and then next up, I'm going to isolate just one of these adorable, fancy seahorses, and I'm gonna mask it off with some two inch post-it tape just to get the ink only where I want it. It's really easy to mask these off. You can use the stencil as a whole, or just individually um, because of the way she has them spaced, but I had no issue um, getting down the ink where I wanted it and not where I didn't. So I'm gonna use my favorite color, my signature color, Flirty Fuchsia, and put the color down on this adorable little seahorse right in the center of that deckled opening. So you can see I've already used three stencils in this lineup and I will have another one to show you in just a moment here. But I wanna add a little bit of interest and variation in color. So I'm coming in with a really dark blue on top of that flirty fuchsia, just on a couple different points on the seahorse to give it a little bit more interest. So I'm gonna pull all that back and look at that amazing framed cute little seahorse. Now I have all this white space on the bottom and this is where once I'm done die cutting it I'm going to put the fourth stencil. So I have another deckled edge. This is a die. This is part of a nesting die set that I got from Craft Stash and I'll link that below. But this is another stencil from the June release. It's called Make Some Waves. Um, I think you can layer them up together or you could just use one like I'm going to do in this case. But I'm figuring out which one works best in the composition and then I'm going to do some fine a little ink blending on that white space on the bottom just to add a little bit more interest and use up some of that open uh, negative space. So again, I'm just using residual ink on my blending brush. These are my rabbit hole blending brushes from the rabbit hole designs and it lays down just the perfect subtle amount of pigment on, it's not pigment, it's actually dye, I should say, color onto the card panel. Now I have the super cute Lawn Fawn little seahorse stamp set and I'm not gonna use the stamps today but I am gonna use the sentiment because it's perfect. I love the font, it fits perfectly in the space and it kind of plays on the whole um, punny little element of it with it being a sea theme. So I'm gonna condition the stamp with my hand because I haven't used it before. And then just to test it out, because I did all this work, I don't wanna risk messing it up, I'm just stamping on a little piece of plastic. So this is a good way to make sure you have it lined up where you want it, that you like the color, all before you risk potentially ruining your project. So I like where it is, I removed it, wiped it off, and now I'm just gonna stamp it down with my Misty Door in that same flirty fuchsia color. Now I wanna continue the design a little bit onto the inside of the card. So again, very simple, light ink blending with the residual ink. And then I'm basically going to color the edges of this card base with that flirty fuchsia as well and one of the blues because that'll just kind of tie in the colors of the design. It'll give me another spot to kind of tie in that beautiful flirty fuchsia color. At first I was thinking just the purple and white, but I decided, nah, it needed some blue as well. So I did end up kind of coming in with a second color and filling in those white openings on that card base just to kind of tie in that second color. So I'm running all the way around the edges, just direct to paper with these mini ink pads from Catherine Pooler, and then put it back up to here and see how I like it. Now, I'm still not happy, so I decided to pitch that card base. 
see it doesn't always go as planned for me either so I'm, I'm leaving this mistake in so you can see it and then I decided to just go full stop with the flirty fuchsia and I feel like that looked a lot better so I'll save that other card base for scrap paper or die cutting I'll throw it in my scrap bin and I'll use it for a future card so this I feel like looks a lot better and then I'm going to attach the card panel to the card base with its two inch foam tape so it'll have some nice dimension and then now I'm going to finish it with some card bling now I'm flipping through my options I was considering that new Aurora Borealis it is gorgeous you guys you got to see it it's just really pretty clear with an iridescent coating I did end up going with one of the blues just because it was such a perfect match to the background that I ended up using that um, but that aurora borealis or crystal iris aurora borealis I think is what it's called would have worked as well now I did want to add a little bit of highlights with a white gel pen so I'm just drawing a couple of those on obviously an optional step but I feel like these little design elements really add so much to a card so I'm going to draw those on there and then add some card bling and that's going to finish the card. So thank you so much for spending time with me. Be sure to check out this amazing release um, and the new card bling and I will catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.